Hi there, this is Alex, and you're probably on this website because you truly care about your son or daughter, and you want to know the number one thing that's preventing them from succeeding. So I'm going to make this quick and painless. The number one thing that's stopping them from succeeding is you. Yes, you're preventing your child from succeeding. So if I ask you, what's the number one thing that determines the child's success in the future? You, you probably don't know. It's not wealth. It's not prestige. It's not race or status. It's none of those things. It's not even intelligence. Intelligence is number two or three. The actual thing I'm going to talk about it in my next uh, blog post is vocabulary. And if you want to read that blog post, just subscribe right now. And you also get a free PDF that talks about if your grades actually do matter. But then again, why listen to me? I don't have a PhD in child psychology or developmental psychology, so why listen? Well, let me tell you a story. Your son or daughter is 24 years old. They open a the door to the house, they walk in, and it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and you ask them, where have you been? They don't answer, they just ignore you. They walk into their room, shoulders slouching, depressed look on their face, and you can smell the alcohol in their breath. So you follow them into the room and you ask one more time, where were you? They get frustrated, they grab the closest thing to them and throw it in your direction. They stand up and they say, you ruined my life. How is this relevant? Well, I was that, I was that kid. Besides the alcohol part, I don't drink. And it took me six years to figure out what was wrong with me. Why didn't I have the confidence of regular people out there? What was wrong with me? It took me six years, and once I figured it out, I was frustrated with my parents. Why couldn't they teach me this stuff? All they had to do was say these couple of techniques, do these couple of things when I was younger, and everything could have been prevented. But they didn't know about it. It's not their fault. Very few people know about these things. Nobody teaches this. So, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to prevent other kids from suffering the way I suffered. I want to make sure that nobody's in their 30s and wakes up one day, is miserable, and has no passion, has no idea what they're doing in their life. I don't want that for anybody. And you as a parent, you're obligated to help your kids. All you have to do is watch these couple of videos. The blog is free. Just watch them, read the newsletters, and that's it. That's all you have to do. You owe it to your kids. Thank you for watching this, and I hope to talk to you again soon. I mean that. Bye.